Hey, hey everybody, my name is Ross Myers with Bunker Munitions, and today I want to do a little bit different of a video, one regarding firearm maintenance. So what I have here is a Mossberg 590 shockwave. I had had this in my collection for a while, but had not brought it out. A customer was interested in purchasing one, so I decided I'd take mine out, let them shoot it, let them handle it, and see if it was something they really wanted before they made the purchase. When I removed it from the case, I noticed I started to have some very light surface rust on the barrel here. I'll show you a close-up of that in just a few moments. But it, it's, it's not a big deal. Firearms are going to develop surface rust on them from time to time. But being able to get on top of that, clean it, take care of it before it starts to get worse, where you get your pitting in the barrel and kind of that point of no return is is a very important step. So a few things that I have here that's gonna help with that process is some 4 aught steel wool, which is uh, super fine. I wouldn't use anything more coarse than that. A soft bristle brush. This is one that I got from just a general gun cleaning kit. And then some kind of oil. So I really like to use Ballastol. Um, it's a lubricant and a cleaner in one, but you can also use just weapon oil if you have any of that around. And we're going to take that, disassemble the gun, go over the barrel to remove that surface rust, and then protect it to keep it from happening again. Alright everybody, here is a close-up of the surface rust on the barrel I was talking about. A lot of it is located near the action where you would hold and pump your shotgun from the oils of your fingers being on it and not properly wiping it down afterwards. But we've got some heavy area right there and then a little bit across the top. It's not anything we can't come back from, but it's something we definitely want to take care of. Alright, so our first step to get started is to remove the barrel. I'm not going to disassemble the entire gun today. I'm simply going to remove the barrel. I'm going to leave the action, the trigger group, all of that the same. But we're going to remove our barrel nut here at the end, which we'll just twist off. And at this point, you can simply slide the barrel off of the gun. Okay, so now that we have the barrel removed, the first thing I'm going to do is take my can of Ballastol and just put a healthy coat over the entire barrel. For more extreme cases, you can let that sit in for a little bit. But since this wasn't that bad, I'm going to go ahead and get to scrubbing. I'm going to take my soft bristle brush and just work it over the entire barrel. You don't have to be aggressive. You don't want to add any extra scratches or damage to the barrel itself. We'll take this and just work the brush across. Get in all of the little areas. So those are the areas that get neglected. And then I'm going to take a rag and wipe it down so we can see what we're working with. Alright, after that, you can do a lot of feeling by hand. The barrel already looks so much better. But by running your finger across some of the problem areas like what I had up here at the top and over to the side you can still feel some rough areas so 
now that our brush has gotten rid of a lot of a lot of the problem I'm gonna go back with a little bit more ballastol on the areas that I could feel with my finger and this is where your steel wool comes into play so you'll take your steel wool and just gently go over it again you don't have to be aggressive with it this is going to help get in all the small crevices that could have started to form and really get that rust out of there So this barrel wasn't that bad there. I've definitely seen worse. I've definitely had worse on my own. I shouldn't tell you guys that, but I have. Everybody learns. You, you live and learn. Just like what I'm doing with this whole video thing. I'm trying not to make you guys have motion sickness and trying to keep everything in frame while also doing what I want to do. But that feels worlds better. The rough patches that I could feel with my finger are pretty much gone. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. For a five minute job, less than a five minute job, that just saved a lot of headache in the future if that would have continued. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reassemble the firearm and you just saw me after I cleaned it, handle it with my bare hands. So I'm going to reassemble it. And then I'll wipe it down one more time with some ballastol on a rag before I store it. Alright, so back to the main table. Now that we've got the rust removed, I'm going to reassemble the rifle. Just put the barrel back in. It slides right in. We're going to take our barrel nut. Put this on nice and tight. So you don't have any surprises at the range. And before I put this away, I'm going to go ahead and do one more coat over the entire gun with a rag. Get down the receiver and get in there and clean a little bit more while I've got it out. But that's a little bit more in depth than I'd like to go into today. Um, but as far as spot rust removal, you can't beat a five minute job to save a lifetime of your firearm. So I appreciate you guys watching with me. I'm still trying to figure out this whole camera thing. Um, I hope you keep getting better. I enjoy making these. I enjoy sharing knowledge, gaining knowledge. Any tips that you have, I'd love to hear. And I'm going to keep on going on with it. Thank you. And unscrew our barrel nut. Oh, this is embarrassing. <laughs>